excuse my language but yo dirk got a lot of shit going on right now after the death of king von people started looking at dirk under eye people were accusing him of sacrificing the ones around him and just a few days ago his brother passed away <laughs> You are not who you are now. I was giving you rides to the studio buying you White Castle because you had to wait for checks and different stuff when you were with other companies and all of that. You didn't even have title to your money. You know what I mean? Now you stacking it up in your face talking about how you take care of all your kids, but you ain't sent my son nothing. We ain't boosty. You 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 buy designer. You you claim you always brag about taking care of your homies in jail, your homies this, and then and my son is just completely exed out of the whole equation constantly. And I've been sitting back watching it for so long, talking to just your mom who tells me, Oh, I don't tell women to call me, oh y'all are important too. Call me anytime you need to and everything. Then I I tell her I say I hate to bring this to you because it's not true, but you are my only point of Content. Now, just to be clear, just in case you all confused, this young lady name is Trevana. She is accusing Lil Dirk of being the father of her child. According to her, Dirk is keeping their son a secret and he has yet to do anything for this young boy. She says, to make this very clear to all the critics, this interview was done before the passing of my son's uncle. She continues, y'all have time, I don't. I have a DNA test, I have my proof, I have my reasons. I wish I would entertain you devils. Have a good day. Dirk supporters were in her comments calling her a liar and wish in depth upon her she then dropped a screenshot of Lil Durk and her son on FaceTime some years ago the full interview will be on Tasha K YouTube's channel I don't know too much so I won't say too much now we got Day Day in the office just so we are clear we all remember Day Day right the Atlanta rapper who was accused of stabbing someone Ty from Taylor Girl's ex-boyfriend is the suspect that stabbed a worker inside a Dunkin Donuts they're searching for Marquavius Goolsby also known as Day Day Investigators say he got angry while waiting in the drive-thru and this surveillance from December shows up coming into the union. So the police believe that the man in this video is Day Day, but he denies all accusations. He even goes to say that that dude don't even look like him. Thank you. You got anything else that my stick is focused or hurts? No. You left everything here, you won't leave. Nothing you won't really take with you, right? Nothing. Appreciate you coming out. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you coming out. Yeah, I ain't gonna make too much noise. We tried to not to, bro. Maybe the shit, bro. Well, we told her if she just handled Easy. it when we first Easy. stopped Easy. up. Hold on. Appreciate your cooperation, man. Thank you very much. Day Day wanted his supporters to know that he's innocent, he paid good money for great lawyers, and these people will pay for their mistake. We got the sweetheart Cuban and Mr. Tato back in the office. <laughs> So they posted these videos of blue crabs onto their Instagram story. And from the background alone, it's quite obvious that the two were together. And I know what y'all thinking. They grown as hell. If they want to be together, they can be together. But supporters believe since he beat the brakes off of her last time they were together, it'd be best that they stay separated. Yes, that is what he did to her eye. And around that time, she said it wasn't his first time getting physical with her. And it was alleged he did that to her because she was on FaceTime with 6 9 Kings and queens, you are being abused by your partner. Are you able to forgive them or do you walk away forever? Let me know in my comment section below. I love y'all. Thanks for the support and I'm out.